channel hope that you're doing well today we are visiting the largest market in Dar es Salaam it's a clothes food jewelry you know what just come and let's see the market together creator from Cameroon visiting East Africa and one thing I have noticed is that all the markets in Africa like they have this similar vibe you know the noise the singing the chanting vibe is on point like you go to the market in the morning in the evening you're coming back you have a headache <laughs> now one thing I did not enjoy a lot about this market is that you can't bargain too much you know how you get to market and the seller tells you this thing is 1000 and then you're like no i have 200 the seller is like okay give me 600 that thing we did not find it in the market i don't know if it's the muzungu thing that we don't speak swahili but we face that trouble a lot hey guys we are almost in the market so i'm told that it's not a very safe place well like every other market you need to be very careful prudent is the word so I'll show you what I can show you. I'll talk when I can talk. See you all when we get to the market. Like, it's right in front of me. Karaki is a very large market, but the sun, the amount of heat, it doesn't really permit you to go around the market. Like it's just crazy. Unless you're going around the market in a tuk-tuk, yes, the roads are that big and good that you can drive through the market. But what's the fun in driving around the market where you can just walk? And then how do you walk when the sun is hot? So it's just crazy. Our okay. focus this day was to get some boo-boos. My friend sells, the ones my friend sells in Cameroon. I told you my friend has a business in Cameroon and she shops, like she buys these things from Uganda and from Tanzania and she sends to Cameroon. Okay, so if you're watching this video and you're a Cameroonian and you like any of the pieces, like just place your order because December is coming, she's going to send some things and you you'd want your mom to look good in one of those boo-boos. Alright. Hi, so we are in the market. Yeah, the street. And we've just gone around. It's a very expensive market, if you ask me. Okay, yes. And we want to look yes. for the Maasai sandals and slippers. So come with us. Namwezi Street. Yeah, Namwezi Street. Namwezi Street. Yes.
hey guys do you hear the noise like it's vibes on vibes it's the african vibe and then one thing i did not really know in the market like i've been to the market like three times and i did not get the time to ask maybe because swahili passed my power but what is that noise these guys move on the road they have stones and they keep doing chak 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 if you're from tanzania if you go to the karaoke market often please let me know what that symbolizes i think they are selling something but i just did not know So recently, my sister discovered this higher quality of the Maasai sandals, in fact, leather produce. It's called the W O P. I don't know the full meaning, but I got I got some things from here. You know, the rest of the shoes they keep them on the street just out there, but this place has its own shop. It's beautiful. The things are just different from the regular ones that you see outside. fun fact from my ever learning brain did you know that leather is made from dried animal skin i had no idea we call it in cameroon kanda and we eat it in aero <laughs> like we eat kanda the thick one and the light one we eat all of it a few people make like salamander slippers for me drums all of that but it's not a big you know economic activity here in cameroon in east africa like when i went to kenya they told me that they have restricted the eating of, of animal skin because they want to increase like the growth of their leather industry same in tanzania like they use their leather for economic activities that will yield not to put in the stomach <laughs> I think if a law is being passed like that in West Africa, hey, there's going to be fighting because uh, Nigerians love their pomo, Cameroonians love their kanda. <laughs> you can go by a taxi bolt or you can go by a tuk-tuk bolt. Tuk-tuks, like, uh, oh my God, tuk-tuks are affordable. My friend loves using the taxi bolt. Like, I, is your head okay? <laughs> <laughs> I think one time we use a taxi board and the price to go to the market is it, it's um was it fifteen thousand and then like two and fro thirty thousand but with the tuk tuk we paid seven thousand to go uh seven thousand like fifteen thousand two and fro and I'm like hello why would you even take the taxi board like does that make any sense tuk tuks are more affordable than the taxi boat okay yes the taxi you could have the ac i'm not a fan of the ac i love the open air and if you love the open air like myself you know that the tuk-tuks like you have to all of this air just getting into the into the old what's it called honestly into the bike into the tuk-tuk and it's on point for me and the price is on point too so yeah that <laughs> It was just fascinating going around the market, seeing the different things that they sell here, seeing different spices, different kinds of clothes. It, it was just fine. And I think anywhere I go to, I'd love to visit the market to see what they have there. This market, if I want to compare it to the market back in Zanzibar, I'd say this market is affordable. Like presently in this market, I say it's expensive. But if I'm comparing to the standards in Zanzibar, I'd say that the standards in Zanzibar are super, super high because Zanzibar Zanzibar is more of a touristic place and Dar es Salaam is more of a, uh, what's it called? A domestic, a homely, forgive my grammar, a local area. Yep. So, karaoke market is more like a local market, not a touristic market. So, the price is slightly lower, more affordable, but to my standard, very, very high. Hey, God. Like I said earlier, how can you go to a market that is not a supermarket and you cannot bargain? Like they tell you this is 13,000 and you're like, can I give aid? They're like, no, it's 13,000. It stays on 13,000. Like, no, 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 I don't like that kind of thing. If I want to have supermarket vibes, I'll go to the Kilimani or the Milimani mall. 
and buy there as they tell me the price i won't come to a market where it's noisy you know the vibes on vibes and then i still have to pay what you're telling me to pay like nah it doesn't make sense like i'd prefer that you call a higher price and then we get to come down to 13 like that, that that's the african vibe you know that's the fun of our market come on <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. If you're a Cameroonian watching this, you see this butter pear yeah. looked like avocado but tasted nothing like our avocado. Even the orange here yeah, looks like orange Man, but doesn't taste like ours. People know the dye day. <laughs> Chai. We've not had fruits for a long time, so we just saw this fruit stand. No, I'm doing a video. So we just saw this fruit stand after the market and we're trying to get some fruits to refresh our spirits, our bodies. I think it's out. Ah, see police station. That means a man will be criminal. You choose to be criminal. Their police color is blue and white. Now another thing I discovered in the market is that there's lots of Chinese products, lots of it, like from cosmetic to clothes to shoes, I could see a lot of Chinese products. I also noticed some dupes of some products that I know like Victoria's Secret, I saw a Victoria's Spirit and I'm like what? <laughs> yeah, that's just like the market in Cameroon which I, I personally I hate a lot. So in this video, I shared two days we went to the market. This is already the second day we were still buying things from the market. This is because I will be traveling back to Cameroon any day from now. So I had to get some things uh, for myself and for my friend's business to bring down to Cameroon for further sales, you know? Overall point of view, this is a beautiful market. It is well struck short ah the streets are tired the streets are structured you don't see people selling uh, haphazardly you can't have like traffic traffic because it's so orderly loved it thank you for watching this video i hope you got to know more about tanzania and their biggest market i loved my tour there i love the things i discovered i got a couple of things massage slippers i got a boo-boo for myself i got some for my mom's lovely don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and i will see you all hey subscribe to my channel and i will see you all in the next video Bye -bye.